now let's continue with our benchmark percents. This is part two. We are going to pick it up at question number three where it says let's estimate each part of a whole. So here it's telling us that we have 11% of 130 is about, remember these little squiggly lines is our about. About is equal to about, and that's what we're going to try to figure out. So because it says estimate, that means that let's change this 11% to 10%. So now we're figuring out 10% of 130, much nicer than 11%. Okay, so 10%, that means that if I go one space over, I'm at 10%. If I go two over, I'm at 20%. So let's go ahead and label our bar graph in percents. We've already done one that is divided into 10% in our last video. So, and of course the end is 100%. So here's 10%. I have one part of my whole. 10% of 130. That means 10 out of 100. Of, remember the of word means times. 130, and whole numbers we put over 1. Okay, so this is just multiplying fractions. We could say that uh, we could simplify this fraction and say divide by 10, 10 divided by 10 is 1, and 100 divided by 10 is 10. And then we could even go as far as cross multiplying. 10 divided into 10 is 1, and 10 goes into 130 13 times, which gives us 13 over 1, which equals 13. That means for every one part, we get 13. So then we do multiples of 13. 13 times 2 is 26. 13 times 3 is 39. 13 times 4 is 52. 13 times 5 is 60. 65. 13 times 6 is 78. 13 times 9, I'm sorry. 7 is 91, 13 times 8 is 104, 13 times 9 is 117, and then of course 13 times 10 is 130. So that's how we figure out how to label our bar graph. And if we have 11% out of 130 or 10% out of 130, that is 13 we said. That means we need to shade in only one bar. And so then 11% of 130 is about 13. We want to box that answer. Let's try another one. This one says 52% of 180. Okay, so remember, let's, let's estimate here. So let's say that we have 52%, and we're going to estimate it to about 50%. Okay, that means that we want 50% of 180. We should know by now that 50% is half, half of 100. So what is half of 80? <laughs> We want to divide by 2. When we split 180 up by 2, we get 90. That means half, or about half of 180, is 90. So we want to find out on our third big mark, that's 50%. And 50% gives us 90, as we just said. Here we have 0%, which gives us 
zero. Down here we have 100%, which gives us 100% is all of the 180. And in between, we want to fill out our percentages. So if we have 5 here, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means that it's split up in 10%. So let's fill that in. And also, I would like you to try to find the multiples down here. So go ahead and press pause. And then once you filled out your number line, you could push play to make check your answer. Okay, so you should have labeled in increments of 10% up here on the top. On the bottom... We have to, our first answer is 18 because if we look at this 10% of 180, that's what you're thinking about when trying to figure out that first slot. So remember, if we have 10%, 10 uh, percent is out of 100, that means we have 10 out of 100 times 180 over 1. So we could say that 10 goes into 100 10 times and into 180. One, uh, 18 times and then multiply straight across saying 180 over 10 and then we could mark out our zeros or divide 180 divided by 10 and that gives us 18 so that's how we would figure out what's supposed to go here and then it's just multiples of 18. 18 times 2 is 36. 18 times 3 is 54. So on and so forth. Let's proceed to number 5. Number 5 says estimate 60% of 27. Okay, so we want to round 27 to 25. So 60% equals 10% times 6. 60% is a multiple of the benchmark percent, 10%. Okay, so at this time, I would like you to press pause, and it's a multiple of 10%. So I would like you to write your 10% multiples at the top, and then press play. So this is what your percentage should look like. So now we have to figure out how we're going to label the bottom. Okay, so 60% of 25. So if we have 100%, we have 25. So then we got to break this up into um, 10 spaces. So if we take our 25 and we say 10%, of 25 that means that we would take 10 over 100 multiply it by 25 over 1 okay so we could say 10 goes into uh, or sorry 5 goes into 100 5 times which is 20 and then goes into here 5 times so then we would multiply straight across, giving us 50 over 20. And we would have to divide that out. 50 divided by 20. 20 goes into 50. Two times. And then I have 40 left over, which gives me 10. We have 2 and 10 over 20 because we put our remainder on top of what we're dividing by. So I'm going to move over here. If we have 2 and 10 over 20, that is also 2 and 1 half. And if we change that to a decimal, we get 2.5. That means that right here, if I have 10%, I have 2.5 as a decimal. And then we multiply times two times two time or times two times three times four. So please at this time take this time to multiply and fill in the bottom. So here is our bottom. 
2.5, 2.5 times 2 is 5, 2.5 times 3 is 7.5, so on and so forth. So the model shows that 60% of 25 is, well let's look, there's 60%, it is 15. So 60% of 27 is about 15. Here we have to estimate 47% of 692. 47% is close to 50%. In 692, we want to round to 700. 50% equals 25% times 2, which means that 50% is a multiple of the benchmark 25%. Okay, so we're going to draw and label a bar diagram to represent the benchmark 25% and its multiples. 25%, we should know that that means that we're going to take a bar diagram and split it into fours. Okay, so that means that we have 0%, 25%, 15%. And then, of course, if we have it all, we have 100%. Okay, so then we start off with zero. If we have the entire thing, how much do we have? We have about 700. And then we would split this up into four parts. So please take the time to do that now, pressing pause and then press play. I would also like you to fill in this bottom part right here. Okay, so you should have... Figured it out by doing a little something like this, setting up our multiplication. 25% is 25 over 100 times 700 over 1. 100 goes into itself once and into 700 seven times. 25 times 7 is 175. So that means 25% is 175. Then to get 350, you would multiply 175 times 2. And to get 525, 175 times 3. So 50% of 700, if we look on this chart, 50% of 700 is 350, which means that 47% of 692 is about 350. And that concludes the notes for today. Have a great weekend.